Hello, my name is Dan Houlihan and I'm an account manager of SREC Trade. I will, and I will be presenting on this video today. If you have any questions remaining after the video concludes, please reach out via email or by phone call. SREC Trade's contact info will be provided to you at the end of this, at the end of this video. Today we will be reviewing the revised Illinois ABP final guidelines for marketing materials and marketing behavior published in September of 2020. This tutorial focuses in the distributed generation marketing guidelines. However, there is an additional set of guidelines for community solar marketing practices and materials as well. Please note that this webinar is only meant to serve as a high level summary of the guidelines. SREC Trade requires its referral partners to review the final marketing guidelines in full. SREC Trade is an ABP approved vendor and as such, it is responsible for ensuring that its referrers understand and adhere to these marketing guidelines so please exercise due diligence. Please note that there are a few related resources available on Incline's website. Links to most of these resources are provided on this slide, and some are referenced throughout this video. False and misleading statements. Designees shall accurately portray the nature of solar power, Rex, and the ABP Illinois shines. Designees shall disclose their intent to sell the project's Rex into the ABP. No demonstrably false or misleading statements shall be made. If the RECs from a distributed general generation project are transferred to a utility through the ABP, then neither the distributed generation project host nor the owner should claim that by using clean or renewable energy electricity. Thus, consistent with the IPA's understanding of Federal Trade Commission guidelines, customers of distributed generation projects that sell RECs should generally not state that they are powered by renewable energy. Answers to common questions potential customers may ask can be found in section 1AB of the revised marketing guidebook. Customer savings. Designees shall accurately portray prospective customers' anticipated costs and savings. Statements that are demonstrably false or unsubstantiated regarding whether installed solar will save customers money shall not be made. All terms and values on marketing, marketing material must be generally consistent with terms used in the standard disclosure form, sale contract, and the Illinois Shines brochure. Claims on, 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 claims on guaranteed savings cannot be made with solar unless explicitly stated in the sale contract. This also applies to claims regarding guarantees that the customer has no financial obligation for the PV system or the energy it generates. The program administrator reserves the right to require any of these claims. Below are examples of acceptable statements that can be made in regarding to customers' potential savings with solar installations. They include the following. Lower your electric bill. Reduce your electric bill. Save money by switching to solar. We expect by sol installing solar, you will save money. Offset your electric bill. Below are examples of unacceptable statements and cannot be made regarding customers' potential savings with, ins with solar installations. The government will pay for your solar panels. Your system is free and you will pay a cost unassociated with your system to your approved vendor. Eliminate your electric bill. Fire your utility. No more utility bills. Your electric bill will be reduced to zero dollars. False representation. Designees shall accurately portray their identities and affiliations and not make false claims or create false impressions. Designees shall not represent, make claims, or act on behalf of any government agency or program, including the AVP or Illinois Shines, unless the designee is indeed a municipality, village, or other type of local government. Examples of acceptable and unacceptable statements made relating to the AVP or Illinois Shines can be found in section 1C1AI1 and 1C1AI2. False representation, logos. Designees may state the fact that it is an approved vendor designee under the IP's adjustable block program slash Illinois Shines, either with a text-based statement or by using a uniquely assigned Illinois Shines approved vendor designee logo. A designee may only use the IPA logo or the general Illinois Shines logo on materials that have been created by the IPA including the Illinois Shines Distributed Generation Informational Brochure and the Standard Disclosure Form. These materials must be provided in their entity and not edited. Designees shall use an Illinois Shines approved vendor logo with the express approval of the approved vendor. 
The program administrator will provide Unique Illinois Shines approved vendor or designee logo containing identifying information upon request. Below is, a, is an example of a uniquely assigned Illinois Shines designee logo. False representation continued. Materials shall not state or otherwise imply that the approved vendor or, or designee is employed by, represents, endorsed by, or acting on behalf of a utility or a utility program, consumer group or consumer group program, or a governmental body, except those cases where the approved vendor is in fact is a consumer group or governmental body, or that endorsement or promotion is made in accordance with the provisions of section 1C1C. Statements that imply the designee is endorsed by, represents, or is acting on behalf of the Illinois Commerce Commission, ICC, the Illinois Power Agency, the State of Illinois, the ABP, Illinois Shines, any municipality or any other government agency in any manner are not allowed. False representation, government bodies. In the event a government body is assisting in or marketing or otherwise promoting a sale offer, the specific requirements listed below also apply. Any solar offer that is marketed to, re to residents and businesses must make clear that the offer is not exclusive or, and that they have the option to choose another de approved vendor and or designee. The designee must follow the scope of the endorsement or promotion made by the governing body. The program administrator reserves the right to request documents and communications, including contracts or other authorizing agreements, outlining the scope of that authorization. Use of testimonials. Designees must use testimonials to advertise customer experience. Testimonials must comply with the following. All testimonials must make must include a disclaimer stating that user experience may differ. Language that makes false claims is prohibited. And testimonials referencing customers outside of Illinois must clearly state that the location of said customer. Program administrator can request documentation to validate accuracy of said testimonials. Expectations, I'm sorry, ex exceptions can be made, but first must be submitted to the program administrator for approval by the approved vendor. Social media, marketing material and content provided on social media must include information about the program of or about the company or companies providing the underlying offer. If an employee or agent posts marketing materials or offers a system sale or lease on a social media platform, from a personal account, the post shall identify, shall identify the entity or entities included in the offer is made, in which the offer is made. The listing price for ABP related offers on platforms like Craigslist, Facebook, Marketplace, and others shall not be quote unquote free, quote unquote no cost, or quote unquote zero dollars, unless they only refer to offers in which there is a guarantee the customer will not have a financial obligation for the system as described in section 1B1F1. Local rules and restrictions. Marketing materials to potential customers must comply with any local rules or restrictions on potential projects. These include restrictions on system size, financing options, net metering, geographical restrictions on the customer's benefit, local utility or governmental requirements. Language used in marketing materials. Marketing materials shall be provided in a language in which the customer is subject to the marketing is able to understand and communicate. Local rules and restrictions continue. Designees are under an obligation to be familiar with any restrictions on projects that may be sold, financed, or interconnected with those areas. Approved vendors shall not market systems or finance, financing options for systems that would not allow that system to be operating to the customer's benefit such as a system that cannot be interconnected or which would not allow a customer to utilize net metering under that utility's cooperative rules or bylaws or consistent with, or consistent with local government requirements. Advertising. Advertising claims made, made by designees shall not be deceptive or misleading, whether by affirmative statements, implications, or omission. This implies to all marketing claims, including those about products or services, about pricing, quality and performance and made in print, electronic, verbal, and through any other medium. Any, all claims made by approved vendors shall be based on factual, verifiable sources. Designees should be familiar with any and all advertising laws, rules, regulations, and guidance, including Federal Trade Commission guidance 
on advertising and marketing. Unfair, deceptive, or abusive acts or practices. Unfair, deceptive, or abusive acts or practices, otherwise known as UDAAP, is not permitted when conducting all aspects of business that address customers or their interests and should have the utmost openness and transparency. Designees that regularly examine and consider the possibility of UDAAP violations in all aspects of their business that touch on customers or their interests. Sales and marketing interactions. The following materials info must be provided to the customer in this order before the installation contract is signed. First, the Illinois Shines brochure must be presented to the customers twice, once during the initial interaction with the customer and then another just before the execution of the installation contract. Second, standard disclosure form must be delivered to the customer before the installation contract is signed. Thirdly, the Illinois Shines program timeline must be delivered to the customer before the installation contract is signed. If any of these documents are delivered to the customer electronically, they must be done in a way that is fully displayed to the customer's review and not merely hyperlinked. An acceptable manner will be providing these documents as an attachment. Further notes on sales and marketing interactions. An installer's representative must evaluate the site's azimuth, orientation, and shading before des designing a system. The system shall be designed before the customer signs an installation contract. Installation contract, contract must follow the, the distributed generation contract requirements for the ABP. Any statements verbally made must be consistent with the customer's contract and the standard disclosure form. The program administrator may follow up with customers to confirm the presentation of these documents followed, in, followed the chronological order stated above. The approved vendor may be subject to disciplinary actions from the PA if it was found that this order was not followed. In-person solicitation. Agents making in-person solicitation for systems under 25 kW shall have identification on an outer garment displaying the following. Agent's first name, ID number, Photograph of agent, name of logo of the company the agent is representing. If any further information that is not otherwise listed above displayed on the badge subjects the identification badge to be submitted to the program administrator for approval. State reps must state the following to the customer. They are a designee of the Illinois Shines approved vendor SREC trade and that they are not employed by, represented, endorsed by, or acting on behalf of a utility or utility program, a consumer group or consumer group program, or a governmental body or government body, unless the approved vendor is a governmental body or consumer group, otherwise compliant with the process outlined in section 1C1C. In-person solicitation. No in-person solicitation at residential dwellings will be done before 9 a.m. or after 7 p.m. Consent from the entire building must be given for an agent to enter a multi-unit building. Premises that indicate the prohibition of solicitation must be followed and criminal badge travel tracks must be done on all agents conducting in-person sales. Telemarketing. Must comply with any and all federal, state, and local laws regarding restrictions on telemarketing, i.e. federal do not call registry, can spam, act of 2000, 2003, marketing sales, rules, etc. A chain, a list of do not contact customers must be complied and maintained. Call logs must be maintained for all outgoing marketing or solicitation calls. While on the phone with the customer, the following must be stated. Agent name and ID. Agent represents the independent seller of PV systems and they do not represent the utility or governing body. Online marketing. Designees offering PV system sale on financing online shall clearly and conspicuously make available to Illinois Shines brochure prior to collecting any personal data other than zip codes or electric service utilities. If a personal social media account is used to post online advertisement, it must also identify the approved vendor, i.e. abstract trade, on whose behalf the designee is advertising. Designees must comply with any and all federal, and federal state, and local laws regarding contracting customers via email i.e. properly identifying types of emails and opt-out provisions. Association with Alternative Energy Electric Suppliers. 
Customers shall not be required to sign up for services for any specific alternative energy electric suppliers as part of their solar contract. Utility numbers can be collected for historical usage info, but cannot be used to solicit or offer any alternative energy electric supplier. If a customer does not sign a contract with the designee, then all personal data of said customer must not be saved. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to SREC Trade. You can find the contact information below.